I am back again to do another Mubad. Uh, unfortunately, my sidekick, which is my little boy, he is not going to join me on this Mubad, but hopefully next Mubad, he will be joining me. So today, you will only have me, myself, and I. Before I get started in this Mubad, I want to let you know what I have prepared. I have prepared uh, fried chicken wings. Uh, the ingredients that I put in my chicken wings are paprika, uh, garlic salt, uh, seasoned salt, and a little bit of pepper. Uh, I also uh, use this uh, wing salt. I used this on the previous video that I have made. Uh, I like it, so when I fry the chicken wings and after fry it, I just add a little bit of this. Also, I am going to try out, uh, I did a little grocery shopping the other day, and I come across these two uh, salts. Uh, Louisiana hot sauce. I'm gonna try this to see if it's tasty, if it's worth me buying again. And also, I have bought this Texas Pete. I know you all have heard about Texas Pete. Uh, I use it. I use it, but it's been a while, so I said to myself, let me try it out again. So with that being said, let's get started to eat, cause Mama's hungry. And I'm not going to put this directly on my wings, but I'm going to put it on the soft side and then dip the wings in it. Okay. It is spicy. Mm. It is really spicy. This is Louis, Louisiana. Oh, yes, it's spicy. But it's good. There's a flavor to it. You know, you try you have food to the wing or whatever you prepare, or you have sauce, and you just taste the spice, but it doesn't have flavor. This right here, the wings in it with hot sauce, it's worth body. So I would think I will keep to the station there. Oh, mind you, this is my black cat. In case you want to see who is sitting right here beside me. Okay, boy, this is my son, black cat. So I may not have my sidekick, but I have something a part of him today, and that's his cat, Blackface. Oh, he calls him voodoo. I don't like the word voodoo. I call him Blackface. Mm. Mm. This is real good. You want some? Oh, I man, I already ate like this. You want some? You can have more than have some. Come on, try it. Mm. You can taste the spice. Mm. 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 Oh, Ooh. For the first time in a long time, because I, I, I am, I'm definitely, let me try this out, Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. This is kind of spicy, 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 y'all. Spicy, spicy. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Let me see. Mm -hmm. It has flavors to it, but it doesn't want. It's not a spice that well. You know how have you have you have you ever eaten something? and you add hot sauce or spicy sauce 
and it's so hot, spicy that it gets your whole tongue gets spicy. This right here is this hot sauce, but it's not something that's gonna kick your ass. Hmm. Also, I want you all to you guys have to look at to check this mother and daughter out. They do both bonds and video, and the daughter tends to her prank her mom. And it's very, it's very funny called You Wanna Eat. So check out their blog, You Wanna Eat. And every time they start the, the video, the mom already says she has a big container with water. She said, you get your water, you guys get your water in. Well, I don't have what I have Pepsi. So I'm saying, you guys, you get your Pepsi in, because this is my water, Pepsi. So, let's get started with this move on. And then today's topic is about the brutality against black people, the cops. Now, I had watched over the, well, a couple of days ago, seven days already. <coughs> I had watched over seven days ago about the brutality of blast and I wanted to do this topic and that's from pretty much uh, I'm pretty much uh, should I say comfortable uh, that putting my son into this type of video as well he asked me a question the other day about why did that guy get killed about the police police officers supposed to be um, a sort of like guardian agents you know protect people and I had to seriously think about Questions I had, I certainly had to think about the answers I gave him. Yeah, I was going to give him, and I had to tell him that not all white people are bad. It's like not all black people are bad. In every race, you have good people in every race. But you know how the saying goes: uh, you got a, ba a barrel, a bucket of uh, bags of apples, and there's always one apple to destroy and mess anything up, and that's what's going on now. Now. Uh, 46 year old George Floyd. Uh, my understanding, he went into the store and tried to, you know, he was a civil, you know, a hard working person. He was working before all the virus and stuff and restrictions had been lifted. Uh, he moved to Minneapolis because I forgot what state he was at. He was having a hard time, you know. Um, so he decided, you know, change his life and move to Minneapolis. And he was working, he was working at a bar slash restaurant. But due to this coronavirus and restriction, every, you know, a lot of companies, small companies and big companies, they had to lay, a lot, lay off a lot of their employees. So he said, he, 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 he told people, people who knew him, stated that he still tried to uphold himself, tried to, you know, carry on. But these times was getting rough. So he decided to one day go into the store called Cups, Cups Food. Cuts food, I believe. He decided to go in there buy him a pack of uh, cigarettes. And one of the employees there, whether it's a cashier or whoever, but I'm sure a cashier, she noticed that he had a counterfeit $20. So they called the police. And when I looked at the news the other day, a couple of days ago, the owner of the store said he was not there. If he hadn't been there, he said it would have went down like that. Yes, the employee did the proper, he, uh, he or she did the proper protocol by calling the police. But he said it's unlikely, unusual rather, for the cops to lock someone up usually a counterfeit $20. He said usually when customers come in his store and they use $20, they don't even know that they, they have a fake $20. Mm -hmm. So the police officer was called. Somehow or another, it did a 180. They sit there, they pull, they show the video, they pull uh, Mr. George Floyd out of the car, and they, you know, knocked him on the ground. They said he was resistant, and they put his, uh, one, of the co one of the cops, who they since arrested, uh, by the name of Derek Chauvin. They, he had his knees on the neck, and then his other three cops is uh, Officer Tao, Officer... J. Alexander Cole and Officer Thomas Lane. Well, they had the, the Officer uh, J. Alexander Cole and Officer Thomas Lane had, had their necks, they had their knees on his back and his legs. 
and all of the town was just stand by on the standby, making sure that no one inter interfered. Now, when you look at the whole situation, it's sad. And why is it sad? Because this black guy was calling after his mama's name, calling his mama. His mother, his mother has been through dead for three years. He even said that they asked him, the cops asked him, what do you want? And he said, I want, I want some water. I don't, I can't breathe. He also said that, uh, don't kill me. And he also said his, 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 his stomach hurts, you know, his head hurt. And you would think that they would do something to make it easier for him. They still persist on putting their body, uh, physical body over him. And with that being said, he got killed. Now, after that situation has happened, there has been riots and protests going from, and from here, from Washington, D.C., all the way to, I looked at the news the other day, in Portland, Arizona, uh, California, Minneapolis, uh, what is this, Texas, all, all over the world. And people are saying that they, black people are saying that they are get tired. They said the only way they can be heard, front heard, is by protesting. Now, with the protest, has been rioted, looting, okay. Now, I don't agree with the looting part, the, 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 the looting, the, the, the uh, knocking down, breaking in business, small business, big business, and still and stuff. I don't agree with that because to me, that what does that bring? That brings more hatred, more violence, more brutality. If you want to protest, I have no problem there, but protest in the day of, of uh, uh, George Floyd. Protest of the other people who have, had died at the hands of police officers. Now, I'm not saying that all white people are bad, because I looked at the news, I looked at the protests, and there are white people that have been abused, or have been, been banged up, like they use the rubber uh, bullet. I've seen white people have been uh, shot with the rubber bullet. You know, standing unite, unite, united, united with the black people. Uh, the other day, they had two cops. One cop had his knees on a white man's neck. His partner, the cop's partner, had to push his knees away from the man's neck. So, what I'm saying is that uh, we're getting tired of all this brutality. We get tired of, you know, of being called on the police for unnecessary stuff. This man did not have to lose his life, okay? Even though he used, probably used a $20 counterfeit, and he probably knew his tweet. We don't we would never know if he knew or he didn't know. The point of the matter is, you sit here and you pull this guy out of his car, and you, lock, you, you, put, you knock him on the ground, and you got your knees, your knees in his neck. I have a problem with that. I really do. A couple of days, a couple of weeks ago, or days ago, there was a woman who was walking her dog, a black guy. He's a bird watcher. He's digging his pocket because he said he could carry treats for other pet owners to make it easy for them to put the leash on their dog. In that little park, I believe it was in New York, the rules are you have to put a leash on your dogs. This is what she said. I want to lie and say that you attacked me. And as she's trying to call and talk to bleep, she's kind of strangling her dog. And had that black guy had that had a video, it would have went opposite, opposite way. I looked on the other, on the other day, which I believe was Saturday, Saturday or Sunday night, I looked online or, or I looked, I looked on, the, uh, on Facebook, there were three paid clothes of cops who stopped, three, I think, three or four men for smoking and drinking. They handled the situation, said it and walking away, one of the plainclothes cop coughing in the black man's face. The black guy said, I got a video, I record you, get his badge number. Don't you know that you can kill you if that's how a virus or coronavirus come by coughing? I mean, what is the point with all of this? I mean, it's so sad when you have to sit here and you're afraid to even walk out of your home because you don't even know you're coming back because cops are trying to abuse you or kill you. Okay, I tell my son, my oldest son, I said, if the cops ever stop you, don't resist. I said, do what they ask you to do. You know, they ask a question, just be polite about it. Because if you resist or you be sarcastic to them, it could cost you your life. What is this brutality? Let's put it on the table. You got 
the president. I'm not that uh, Martin Luther King Jr. the third today on today's show. He said, instead of you guys, he said we having a present to unite people, you got a present to divide people. Okay, he said now this evening this afternoon to uh the the, the cost a week to, 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 to do more enforce uh, to, to do more enforcement on the people. Okay, he used another tweet saying that you know vicious dogs and and, and, and weapons and all that. What what is this world coming to? Why do we have to be continued to be brutal, brutalized by uh, 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 cops? You got racists, you got high supremacy, and you got brutality. Those are three things that we are tired of. When is this going to ever stop? Yeah, you know the same thing about it is this is not going to end. Uh, Eric Gardner, 2014. He was out at the store selling new cigarettes. He go to cops. Mind his own business. He telling the cop, why you keep messing? He asked the cop, why you keep messing with me? You every time you see me, you keep messing with me. He stayed outside the store selling new cigarettes. They stopped it because his cigarettes that he was selling was that tax stamp. Then maybe, remind you, maybe that was wrong. But did that have to do, did that have any right, did it have any right to go the the, the, the cop? Uh, what is it? Uh, Officer P P P P P Palito, P-A-T-A-L-E-O. He went behind Eric Gardner's uh, uh, back, put his arms around his neck, knocked him to the ground. And when he got to the ground, when he, when he fell to the ground, he took his arm away from the man's neck. And then he pushed his face into the, into the ground. And the guy kept saying he can't breathe. He said 11 times. When they took him to the hospital, he, when they put him on the stretcher, he was unconscious. And when they took him to the hospital, he was dead an hour later. Does that make it right? And the man, in my understanding, the cops did that, they was not holding accountable for it. And they probably hold counter for a civil suit, but as far as charging the being placed in jail or prison, they weren't hold for account for it. Then you take uh Rihanna Teller. She in her own home. They got a warrant for Goku to come into her home or whoever's home to investigate drugs. They sit there and came into that woman's home without even letting them know, hey, we got a woman out here. And they killed a beautiful 26-year-old girl, woman. They sprayed her with, with several bullets. She had lost her life at 26 years old. She is somebody's child. Never knew that she was going to be losing her life at 26 years of age. <sighs> Michael Brown, 15-year-old black man. No, it's an 18-year-old black man was killed by Ferguson officer, Officer Darren Wilson. I mean, come on, to my T. Mara Rice, a 12-year-old boy who was shot by killed by a white officer, Timothy Lohan, Lohan, L-O-E-H-M-A-N. And he was shot because they thought he had a gun. But to come to find out, he had a play gun. Arbery, uh, Amar Arbery, a 25-year-old man, who was jogging, told his family, I'm going for a job. But this time, he wasn't just killed by this one person. He was killed in attack by two white people, a father and a son, uh, Travis McDaniel and Gregory McDaniel. They called the police and said that this man is suspicious. And said he didn't let the police deal with him, they decided to stop the truck, get off the truck, the son got the truck, and try to fight them, try, try to fight Aubrey. The father sat there and shot him dead. So they didn't mind to sit there in jail. But what did he serve time? Oh, and let's not forget about Sandra Bland. Here she was driving, you know, and she had a voice on Facebook talking about the situation. High uh, white supremacy, uh, uh, police brutality, and racism. And somehow or another, she's driving along about her own business. A cop stopped her. A cop stopped her and told her something about she had, it was a traffic stop. And instead of dealing with that and giving her her ticket, he asked her name. She refused. Whatever he had to ask her, she refused. He dragged out the car, 
locked her ass up and supposedly she committed suicide because why she had a lot of mental issues. Well, maybe that was part, maybe that was true, but it had to come to that. Because if she had not been locked up, she would have still been living today. And when you look at her mugshot, it was speculation that she was already dead when she took a mugshot. But they just had her stand up like that, acting like she was still alive. So when you look at all these black people, men and women, that are being killed by white people, okay, the first thing they say, like they said with Gardner, they say it now with uh, uh, Floyd. Oh, they had a uh, pre uh medical health condition. Okay, maybe it was true. But that does not that 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 did not cause them to die and leave out of this world, and that does not give the white police officer, white people, the right to take your life for something simple and simple simple. And then you got the white face with the orange face office that has to show no emotion. He want to call say that the, around the world that the governors and the mayor are weak, but he can't even dress the state. And you know why he can't dress the state? Because he don't know how to dress the state. Because he's racist. He is a racist ass man. And I am tired of dealing with this. I am tired of looking at the news. I am tired of hearing my black people being killed. I'm afraid of my son. Yes, I got a little boy who's biracial. But the world's not going to look at him because he got white blood. The world's going to look at him that he got black blood. That he's a, he's a, he, what they call it, he's a nigga. I was looking at uh, uh, Today Show, the third hour, when uh, Al Roker told Melvin Gray, Melvin, you got a biracial kid, but the world's not going to accept your kid as a biracial. They're going to accept him accept them as black. And Melvin, uh, Melvin Craig said, yes, you're right. So even though they accept him as black, but what, at what cost? When are we are going to stop this? When are we are going to sit here and decide nothing is enough? I mean, every time you turn around, there's a black person dying. And I'm so tired of this. I am tired of dealing with this. I am afraid for my own kids. Not only my two sons, but my daughter. I'm afraid that they'll walk out of here and I can't cut that and I, and I can't, I, and I mean, I would not have a relief until they come back in here. It has to stop. And we have to continue as, as American and citizens, band together, stop these white supremacists. They are no longer wearing white robes and rights are cloth for the head. They are now on the police force. They are now at different companies. They are now at uh, whatever, whatever, whatever they can get there, they can, they, whatever they can do to be uh, not noticed, but uh, continue to, 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 to kill and destroy. They are out there. And then as far as the, the, the lottery, the, the, the lottery. Okay, I don't agree with that. But I, I'm not giving them that saying it's okay. But I understand. Because maybe with that, the, you know, breaking down these, 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 these companies, these stores, maybe it will let the officials know, hey, they, they mean business. And then you look around, none of the governors, I mean, none of the, none of the legal, the lawmakers, the congressmen, congresswomen, they're not even addressing the, the, the citizen. They ain't even trying to hear what the citizen what is the why are the citizen doing this? Why are they crying out? When George Floyd, this ain't gonna be the next one. This is gonna be the last George Floyd. It's gonna be another George Floyd. It's gonna be another uh Breonna Taylor. It's gonna be another uh Sandra Bland. It's gonna be another T Mar Rice. It's gonna be another Michael uh what the Michael uh uh Michael uh Brown. It's gonna be many other many more until they wreck the, and it's been so bad they continue to hurt us and destroy us and kill us until we they get until we are no more longer as this in this world. Cause this is what they're trying to do. And I am so tired of dealing with this racist situation. Why can't we all be together? Even though we are different colors, we have different issues, but we are all as one, and that's human being. And so my heart bleeds when I see this on the news. My heart bleeds when I see, you know, uh, my, 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 young, my brother and my sisters you be being killed. Even with me, when I go out here and I go to work at night, will I be returned to my kids? Will I be able to sit there and say, okay, I made it this day. Thank God, Jesus, for me allowing me to see another day. 
It should be me living in this world or so many other people in the world due to health or due to longe longevity, the age. Not uh, the way he or she was killed by a police force. And then they, they didn't make it so funny about it was Derek Chauvin, the man who put his knees in uh, George Floyd's uh, neck. They locked him up. And my understanding, he was a suicide watch. Oh, wait a minute. He's on suicide watch because he's afraid of his life. Oh, we should be sympathetic because he's on suicide watch. But did he think about that when he put his knee on that man's neck and the man cried for his mother? And I was thinking, his mother was alive. His mother was dead. His mother has been dead for three years. And he cried on his mother. And said, I love you, mama. Because I believe in that sweet moment, he knew he was going to die. So we want to be sympathetic for him because he was suicide watch. Because he realized, he said in that cell, realized, I fucked up. Yeah, you fucked up. And then he going to have the dastardy just to put the charge in with third degree murder instead of first degree. When they did a family autopsy, second autopsy, independent autopsy, the first one by the county. The county said, there's no kind of sign that he died for asphyxiation. Um, he died for medical condition. But when the family did an independent autopsy by Michael Baden, and he is good because his show is to come on, on the cable. And I used to watch the show all the time. When he came on and said, yeah, this, and I, I can't quote you on that, but he said his death was due to the fact of those three white men put their, their physical body on that man. And by him not breathing, and the blood went to his head, and it killed him. So we supposed to be sympathetic because he's a suicide wife. Please. And he better hope and pray he don't go to jail, and one of those black guys will take his fucking life. Then you got the other three cops. They said, well, we're going, we try to move swift, uh, expeditiously. Oh, uh, we're going to push hard. When? When? Oh, you locked the first cop up because you thought that would be hush, hush, or it would keep us hush, hush. Okay, these three other cops have been still out here walking and talking, whatever the hell they're doing, and they haven't been locked up as yet. When are you all going to lock them up? Because they just, they just hold accountable as, 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 as the third man, uh, 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 Derek Ch Chauvin. Listen to us, uh, 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 people. Listen to our cries. Listen to our heartbreaks. L listen to the fact that we are suffering by the brutality of the police. We are tired of being destroyed for unnecessary shit. We're all that perfect. We don't go out there. We may do some stupid shit, but it still does not justify for anyone to take a life. And I'm tired of it. And I ban with the people. Black lives matter. All lives matter. Black lives matter. Because I'm tired of it. Our forefathers and Martin Luther King, they never forfeited. They, they, they didn't lose a life because of this. They fought for us. And we continue to live in segregation. We continue to live in racist. They will always look at us as the niggas. And I'm tired of it. So let's, bring, let's, let's come together and let's fight them until we can't fight no more. And that's all I got to say about that. I, my, my sympathy and my respect, it, it goes to uh, uh, George Floyd and his family. I looked at the video today. And, I'm sorry, that's my dogs. I looked at the video today, and George Floyd brother came to the uh, to the site where his brother died. It was so sad. He, I mean, he collapsed. He tried to collapse. He almost collapsed into his friend all because of the the the, the heartbreak. Knowing that you were at the site where your brother was killed, I can only imagine what his heart was going to, his mind was going to. So my family go out to his family, my, my heart go out to his family, and I will continue to pray for his family. Not only to his family, but everyone else that had died of the brutality of blacks, I mean, of, of whites, of white cops. They want to be protecting us. But then we call the car, or someone calls the car, they're not protecting us, they're killing us. Just like that day old woman who sit there and called the car, having the cops thinking that the black wife was black guy was attacking her. I mean, that black guy had to had the video, then what would have happened? Look at the CNN, the CNN reporter. He was so smooth, I had to give him credit. He was calm and he was collect. 
But what did they do? They locked his ass up. And they make it so they want to look the what obvious, they locked the crew member, the, the cameraman, and the, and the producer up. But they was really aiming after that, that black reporter. Now he had already showed in the badge, told him, you know, hey, look, the way that we saying that, but they're gonna lock him up. What is this world coming to? I don't care how high we get, they're gonna always look bad at us, they're gonna always think ill of us, they will always think that we are some criminals, we ain't got good sense, we ain't about to be nothing. And then, like I said, it's no, it's it, 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 that, it don't make a justice, it don't make any right when you got a, a, a you got a president who instead of coming together and united the, 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 the world together, he's dividing it. He likes what's going on. He, trust me, he likes what's going on. And that's why he cannot address the nation. Because he's not going to give us the credit, the, 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 the worth of dime to sit here and address the nation. Because that's like addressing the black people. And he does not see us. He sees us as niggers. There's orange face in the office. You know, he's going to borrow time in this world. Until the good Lord tells the devil, Satan, take his life. And when his life dies, when he committed he needs to lose that last breath, his soul is down there in the, in the bottom of the pit, suffering for the rest of his eternity life. And then I said to myself, I said, well, maybe perhaps Barack Obama should address the nation. Even though he's no longer the president, but he's the president of the life. You know, everybody look up to him. You know, everybody has respect for him and his wife. You know, because when he was in the office for eight years, we had to go through this. He was, you know, he was, he kept the world together. We didn't always kind of agree with Barack Obama, but we respected him because he was a people's person. He was a people's president. And that's why even though he's not in the office, Orange Face can't fathom the fact that we still look up to him. And that's why Orange Face is trying to erase everything of him. Because he can't find it that there was niggers, that's what he thinks, that was living in 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. So I said to myself, I told my daughter, I said, why don't Barack Obama address the nation? It would be, I said, I believe people would listen to him. But then my daughter said, Mom, well, it's not fair for him to continue to do that. If he's not, he has done his turn. I said, yeah. I said, that's true. He has done his turn. But someone has to stand for us. Someone that has a voice. Someone that's going to believe in us. Someone that will walk beside us. Someone that will fight for us. And that's why I decided today that Barack Obama will be the first to be the best candidate to address this world and to let the world know, hey, this too shall pass. But the united we stand, the united we fall. We are in this from the beginning. We were in it in Rise of the Sith. We were in there back in the slave, where the, uh, the white man had a slave. We were in there with Harriet Tubman. We were in there with uh, 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 Rosa Parks. We are still in it today. We were in there with Elijah Muhammad, with Elijah Muhammad coming. You know, we were all in this. And we continue to be in this. Because something has to give. Because it's not going to go. It's not going to fade. We should be dealing with the virus, but we're dealing with another sh another chapter that has it. It's not a new chapter, but it's an ongoing chapter, and that's racist, that's white supremacy, and that's brutality against black. I can't breathe. Black power, high power to the people, and black lives matter. I will stand to the day that the good Lord takes my life. And yes, I have a biracial son. I am with a white man. But when my people are being disrespected, I'm staying with them. Black Lives Matter. That's all I got to say. Fuck this fool. Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. Bye.